Hello, welcome to our section study. My name is Kasari. This is Bible Facts Existence Africa. And today again, we're going to look for another topic interesting. And this time, we are going to jump with me in the book of Revelation. And we shall go through the chapter 7 in the book of Revelation. Uh, in today's video, our topic is entitled God is Seal. God is Seal. Or oh, what is God is seal. So kindly pray with me before we start. Thank you, God, for your privilege. And always we thank you for this time. Wherever we are in the places, studying thy word, may you be among us. Give us the spirit of truth to teach us and always to understand what we are learning. In this time, we pray that you give us the Holy Spirit Come and guide us in this time. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Uh, so as I told you, for those who have your Bibles, kindly grab them and open Revelation chapter 7. So you know in the Bible it talks about two mark or two seals. There are two seals. One represents God and the other one represents the dragon or Satan. So these two marks... Both of them are not invisible. They can't be seen. It can't be in the forehead. It's not a tattoo. It's not. But these two marks represent our thoughts. These two marks represent our thoughts. God has his seal and also Satan or the beast. You read in the Revelation, call him the, the dragon or the old serpent. Yeah. Or the beast. So, the mark of the beats represents those who are faithful to Satan. And the God is seal, or the commandment of God also represents those who are faithful to God. People that have been so mistaken thinking, maybe COVID vaccine, maybe someone having a tattoo. These seals, both of them, are not visible. They can't be seen. But we're going to read Revelation chapter 7, and I want you Come with me. Thank you. Revelation chapter 17. It says, After this I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth, that no wind might blow the earth, or see or against any tree. Vasto says, And then I saw another angel ascend from the rising of the sun with the seal of the living God. He called with a loud voice to the four angels who had been given power to harm the earth and the sea. Verse 3 saying, This angel saying, do not harm the earth or the sea or the trees until we have sealed the servants of our God upon their foreheads. Amen. Now, this seal, the angel, if you read this, you go down, you see that this mark is not visible. This mark is not visible. And sometimes I see people having maybe a number plate written on 666. And I see this one having the mark of the beast. And you see someone having a tattoo, 666. This one has a mark of the beast. And people even they put here, 666. All this is distraction. They want you to lose focus. And yet the mark is right here with you. So these things you see, you should not be don't be distracted by such a things so in my research because i told you i want to bring you facts as our channel says now these seals oh you know these seals there are seven seals if you read the book of revelation here it says the opening of the seven seals shows that every person who claims to be believer in Christ or believe in Christ 
will receive a blessing for being faithful or a curse for being unfaithful. The first four seals describes God's disciplinary means to arouse his people from their spiritual lagony and make them victorious. Yet God's people suffered injustice and oppress, oppression in the world hostile to the gospel. At the opening of the sixth seal, God is ready to deal with those who harmed his people. Now, chapter 7 tries to show us those people who will be sealed where we, we, we read in the book of Revelation, chapter 7, verse 1. Those who will receive the seal means they have been faithful to God. And that is a seal. The seal represents two things. One, it represents that you are chosen. And another one, it means you will not be harmed. Let me take you back in the book of Exodus. In the time of Moses, when he was still in Egypt, God told Moses he's going to do something terrible that killed all the firstborns of Egypt in those days. God, that was one of the plague. Many firstborns in Egypt died. God sealed his people. He used the blood of the lamb and smoting it on the doorpost. So every home that had the blood of the lamb on their doorpost, no one died in that house. Even the Egyptian who did it, even though they were not from the tribe of Israel, none of them died. But those who didn't do it, their firstborn died. So this, it will be like in the old times, like how it was. So this seal, the angel telling these four angels who were holding the first wind. Because remember, the wind in old times, it means destruction. So this wind was going to harm the earth and everything. And another angel came from east saying, do not harm anything. A tree or let us first seal God's people. They are those who are faithful to God who followed his voice and obeyed his commandments. He said, Let us first seal them. So this seal represents that. So they will receive that blessing of being faithful, and God will deal with those who harmed and oppressed God's people for the gospel. Now Chapter 7 is an interlude inserted between the six and the seven seals. The sixth seal brings us to the second coming of Jesus Christ as the wicked face judgment. Revelation chapter 7 answers their question about who will stand on the day of Christ's coming. Those who have been sealed, they gave us the number does you read Revelation chapter 7 still? The other characteristics of is given in the book of Revelation. You can read Revelation chapter 14 from verse 1 to verse 5. So, as I told you, don't be deceived that this seal is something that you can, you can see. No. Because today we're going to look on the God's seal. So, in another video, I will do the another seal or the mark of the beast because today we are talking about the mark of God. I told you there are two seals and these two seals, one represents obedience, one represents of not being obedient to God. Okay. Now, in the Old Testament, as I told you, wind stands for destructive forces by which God executes judgment upon the wicked. Okay, you can read that in the book of uh, Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 19 to 20, and Daniel chapter 7, verse 2. As the angels of God ceases to hold in a check of their fierce wind of human possession, and all the elements of strife will be let 
lose after God sealing his people. When everything is done and God has confirmed that everyone has been sealed, those who God chose to seal, when it's done, then everything will be lost. As you see, after Moses telling people of Israel in older times, you know, I'm trying to bring this example because what happened in Egypt will happen when Jesus is about to come. Okay? It will happen when Jesus is about to come. So, after sealing God's people, if it is done, then everything will be let loose. I told you, when they finished smoting the blood of the lamb on the doorpost, then the angel of death was going, checking to those who were not sealed. That's why a lot of people oh, in that time of Moses in Egypt, they died because they didn't had the seal of God. Okay? So make sure that you are one of those when God is sealing. What, what am I trying to say? Is that if you look at yourself, do you see that God can take, can give you his seal and you'll be protected? When he look at you, can people see God through you? Can people feel that God is really with you? Okay, in ancient times, the primary meaning of sealing was ownership. The meaning of the symbolic sealing in the New Testament is that the Lord knows who are his. You can find that in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. God recognizes his own people and seals them with the Holy Spirit given to God's people okay Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13 to verse 14 and also Ephesians chapter 4 verse 13 at the end time the seal on the forehead is given to of God's people is given to faithful people who kept the commandment of God this marker is not visible the marker to put on someone's forehead but as it is states in the bible settling into the truth both intellectual and spiritual so so they also god's people cannot be moved so spiritual and intellectual if you are to receive this mark of god or the seal of god that means you cannot be moved Whatever circumstance you are in, you won't be moved. Now here, it says, in the last days, events, the contrast of those who are ultimate sided with the beast receive the mark of the beast. You can read that Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 to 17. The faithfulness of God's sealed people has been tested in every generation. However, the test of the faithful in the final crisis will be keeping of the God's commandment. You can see that Revelation chapter 12, verse 17, and also Revelation chapter 14, verse 12. In particular, in, in particular here it says, the fourth commandment will, be, will become the test of obedience. Okay? In the biblical times, you can read that Ezekiel chapter 20 verse 12 and also Ezekiel chapter 20 verse 20. It says, and I gave you my Sabbaths as a sign between me and you that people they may know you are my God and I sanctify you. So here the Sabbath, remember there are 10 commandments and the first four commandments are between me and my God. And these other six commandments are between me and my fellow beings or my friends my family and every cause the commandment says love thy neighbor as you love thyself these four commandments the first commandment says love god with all your heart and also the second one says thou shalt have no god before me and the third one says there is no other god except me and the first commandment says remember to keep the sabbath day 
holy. So these four commandments are very. Here they said the fourth commandment, okay? The fourth commandment will become the test of obedient for God, okay? It will be the test. As the Sabbath has been a sign of God's people in the biblical times, so it will be the sign of loyalty to God in the final crisis. At the end time, the seal is also functions as a sign of protection from destruction forces of the last of the last seven plagues. You can see that also in the book of Ezekiel chapter 9 from verse 1 to verse 11. From destruction forces of the seven last plagues. So people, the Bible states these things clear that for those who have been obedient to God, because the Bible is clear. Recently I've been discussing with someone and told me that the Ten, Command the Ten Commandments have been removed. Remember, God is not the author of confusion. So when God says this, means he has done with that. In the book of it, Ezekiel says that you have seen well that I, God, I follow my word and to fulfill my word. Means when God says that the first commandment, it will be the sign or it will be the test of obedience. Because people say you can worship God on any day. Yes, we can because we worship in our homes, we can pray. But the gathering is always on that day so that we can talk to our God. And even to remember the creation. Because this day, it because we always go there to remember God, what he has done for us. So, do not mistake. In this video, I want you to know that God values his word. When he says something, he always means it. So, this seal, I told you, it will, be, it will represent the obedience and being faithful to God. So, I pray that may the Lord be with you in everything you're doing and take time to read your Bible. In the next video, I'll bring you the mark of the beast. I love you all. My name is Gasani. This is Bible Facts Existence Africa. Like us on Facebook. We have a page, TikTok, follow us, and also Instagram. Watch any video of your choice. And don't forget to share the gospel. May God be with you. I love you all. Let us pray. We thank you, God, that you've been with us in this study. May you give us the power to understand thy word. In this time of prophecy study, may you give us knowledge to understand everything and also give us the power to preach the gospel to the whole world. And be with us in Jesus' name I pray. Amen.